What's, What's happening, happening fandoms? fandoms? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, we react to music videos and shows. Today, we're taking the advice of lots of our commenters from the Warning Army telling us about the warning being a guest on Allison Hagendorf. And you guys have been recommending this a yeah. long time ago and we haven't got a chance. So finally we'll get it. We're, you know, it's been on our list, list for a while and we finally had time. We're going to split it into two sections so that we don't, I mean, it's an hour long. It's hard to spit that in. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do the first half right now. Let's go. Here we go. We are now accepting priority music requests through our Buy Me A Coffee program. You can find the link in the description below. Send us a music prompt and we will get to it right away. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. It's our chance to get to know them more. Hello, my fellow music lovers. I'm Allison Hagendorf and welcome to the show. This is where we celebrate the universal love of music and the rock and roll spirit that lives in each of us. Mm -hmm. My guests today are the three incredibly talented sisters who comprise the band, The Warning. This oh, is yes. the band you need to know. They have been playing since they were old enough to even hold instruments People and have like already played alongside bands like Foo Fighters and Guns N' Roses. Yeah. They are yeah, currently on their impressive. North American tour this month and will this be opening a year for ago. Muse mm -hmm. in Europe this summer. We talk all about their relentless drive and work ethic, how they got their first break, what it's like to open for their idols, Muse, wow. and the secret weapon of their sibling magic. And stay tuned after the interview for my sound advice new music you need to know it all starts now ladies i am so excited you're here Me i have too. been following you for years now and to have you in la and to sit down i'm so pumped there's just so much i want to congratulate you on oh, and just you. and also i was admiring your misfits tank you have to this is yeah. phenomenal i got it from a fan shout out to that fan thank you for the yes. best fan gift yeah i know yeah. that's so cool i love that and we're honored to be here. Thank you so much yeah, for having, having us. This is like, oh. So cool. Oh, we're so I, happy I am honored to have it. you guys here. Now tell me why you're in LA, what you guys have been working on. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. okay. Oh, are you gonna? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> so we're here in LA. Basically, we're gonna write a lot. We're experimenting. We're in that mm. like era in our careers where we just wanna try everything, yes. new things. And we're so used to writing between each other. That's just it. us. Just us. That's so, right. like, it's our first like dip into co-writing, and, and it's wow. been fun. Yeah. LA is the place so to do it, and a lot we haven't had the time. It's probably to leading up to the album they were releasing. Yeah. 2022 was yeah. nonstop. It was over a hundred shows. So now it's this is like unreal. the little window of time we have before touring and they starts. So young this year, here, so even though it's last year. LA and write. Let's find out what we can do. Going on. Go. So wait, I need to hear more about these co-writing sessions. So how has it been going? Because that's a whole new dynamic in chemistry. You know, yeah. I mean, mm. first of all, the fact that you guys are sisters writing together, it's like a very intimate, comfortable dynamic. Yeah. So now you're in the room with strangers. It's a little <laughs> bit like a first date, but it's the three of you together. Yeah. 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 We've talked about it. We yes. This is like, like speed, speed dating. dating. Yeah. Speed dating. Speed dating. Yeah. Been, yeah. We've been here for, I don't, is it, has, has it been nine days? I think so. I don't like, even know. It's been like one team per day. Like we meet new people every day. Mm. Yeah, so it's like going into the room and saying like, "Hi, I'm Paulina, and these are my darkest fears. Let's write about them." <laughs> <laughs> it's just like it's just so weird. Like, it's so weird. Yeah. Not every day with new people. Sometimes you vibe, sometimes you don't. But all the sessions have been have great. Been great. Yeah. They have been it's great. Some yeah. great people, and it's just been really fun. Very new. Very and we've new. got to learn a lot from them, which yeah. is, I think, the most important thing. What you can like grasp, and then get to do your own thing with it you know yeah. um but yeah no it's definitely been an experience an adventure. yes an adventure <laughs> it's definitely a character building exercise True. like you yeah. said like going and meeting someone and then becoming as vulnerable as possible yeah. so you actually get great art <laughs> yeah. Yeah. to create yeah. Yeah. And, it, yeah. and it's weird because it's like a back and forth because you're explaining your situation they're like oh I've been through, and then they just like, it's like a trauma dumping session. Yeah. yeah. But it's the healthiest way possible. Yeah. Yeah. It's just really nice. It's a healthy therapy session. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Oh my God. Now, um, I love that it's the three sisters. I am one of three sisters. So I, oh, I, oh, that's as soon as so I heard cool. about you guys, I felt very connected. Yeah. And I love, I'm very close with my sisters. I think it's beautiful that you guys have been making music together. And <gasps> I want to learn a little bit about like, 
like the earliest days with you guys, because obviously your parents <laughs> played a huge role yeah. Yeah. introducing uh. music to you in general and then supporting you in your dreams. Yeah, so we grew up in a very musical household. Our parents are not musicians. They're no. just music lovers. Mm -hmm. So we, how do you say, right. inculcaron. Mm. They, <laughs> they like shared they that. They brought us up like with in, a love with of music. Yes. 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 Yeah. yeah. Brought us up. That's there the we word, go. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, we, music was always just playing around the house and we really loved it. Mm. And just like parents like put their kids in like soccer classes or swimming lessons our parents were like piano lessons just mm -hmm. let's go. like go yeah. have fun yep. and uh we we started out like that we like classically trained classical music piano yep. that's amazing and then our parents bought the video game the rock band that's where we that found our thing um we were really like i forget how young we were, we were i felt really, really grown up at the time <laughs> yeah. i was six yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I was three i was three you yeah. couldn't even hold up a freaking yeah. like, do you remember this actually? i remember watching them play because i was so young i yeah. couldn't even carry like the plastic guitar yeah, yeah. 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 Like, yeah. Oh, man. so i just goodness. watched them play all the time that's yes. that's what i did when i was three <laughs> oh, I watched them play rock band. yeah i did i, I did. love that yeah. <laughs> So, okay, so rock band, you guys were great at it. But you yes. can still be great at rock band and not decide that you're going to make this your life, you know? So That's what was it true. that was true. that point where we're like, okay, this is what we're doing? You know, I think it's what we saw in the rock band more than, like, actually, like, playing it. Like, it looks so fun to be on the stage. Everyone was just, like, cheering. It was like, I want to be part of that. So even though... Uh, we had never done it before. I was like, Dad, I want to play the guitar. And he's like, are you sure? Your fingers are going to hurt. I was like, yeah. Aww. But one week I was just like, please, no. <laughs> it hurts so much. <laughs> right. No, then it was just because I started classic guitar. Like I started like an acoustic guitar with ni not nylon strings. Um, the other ones, I forgot how they're called. Steel strings? I guess. Like, I'm trying to help like, you out. I don't it know hurt anything so much. I was you just get, like, like the calluses. Yeah. 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 I had like my fingers were horribly yeah mm -hmm. um but then there was no going back literally mm. we loved what we did but we didn't play together no i know we did i at played all. the drums separately danny yeah. played her guitar ali was interesting but like years later um ali like had an interest in the bass so she started playing the bass by herself like we didn't play together that no. wasn't a thing ever wow. ever mm. Sometimes we played like, the piano together. Yeah. But like guitar and drums, that wasn't a thing. But then I just started playing the bass and we're like, huh, wait a like, second. We, we, we can play together. Oh. And uh, we started learning cover songs, just mm -hmm. playing songs that we liked mm -hmm. and uh, playing That's like cool. at our school and stuff like that. <laughs> and then we started recording these covers and uploading them On to YouTube. YouTube. Yeah. We recorded Enter Sandman, right. which yeah. went viral. That's, that's the one. And uh, it was like, when we started getting these very big opportunities that you wouldn't expect to get at that age just starting out, it was like, oh my God, like their dreams are coming true. Let's do this for real. And mm -hmm. I, I think that that was the turning turning point. Mm -hmm. And just when like, we yeah, eventually yeah, started making so our cool. own music, that even became more that legit. Was it. Yeah, I was just like, that was all it. right, let's go. <laughs> so when the Enter Sandman cover came about, how old were you guys then? Was like, it like nine 13? to like nine, 14? 14. Yeah. 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 I was 14. I was 12. And I was nine. Yeah, yeah. Wow. that's incredible. I'm the youngest nine. So you guys really created your own luck, right? Because it was a preparation <laughs> and opportunity meet. You had been practicing. Yeah. You had been honing your crafts. I mean, how intense intense was your practicing at this point? Like you guys were pretty dedicated musicians. Yeah, very, very much so. Um, I, I don't remember how many hours, yeah. but we, <laughs> it was all the time. We practiced a couple hours all yeah. the time. every day. And it was like, you come back from school, you would practice, then you would do your homework, and then you would practice the other instrument. Like yeah. it, it was wow. like a thing. Yeah. It was and we yeah. had pure yeah. dedication. So and dedicated. Our parents like really pushed us to it because you're a kid. Yeah. At one point you're gonna be like, no, I wanna play with my toys. It was like practice. And uh, that like, we learned be how to glad be they did that. Mm -hmm. yeah. In our craft, since we were really young. Discipline. So I feel like we've just been really lucky throughout our whole careers, and we've gotten these amazing opportunities. Aww. But it's that discipline yep. that we've had throughout our whole lives that like Ball makes us discipline. take advantage of these opportunities to the fullest. Yes. And we're and really also, grateful for that. Honestly. And also from discipline, we are very stubborn. When mm -hmm. we didn't get a part, it was just like, I'm staying here until I play it, right? <laughs> yeah, I bet. We're just like, I want to be able to play this. So, so yeah. when did you actually become the warning? Like oh. the official band? Yeah, official what? band. Yeah. 
Okay, so we recently just turned 10 years as a band. That yes, is yes. unbelievable. Yeah. But it's like wow. half of my life. Yeah. 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 More than half of my life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just like, yeah. what? But, like, our <laughs> it's first... Unbelievable. It is. It's wonderful, guys. It's wonderful. And our first gig was at a Christmas party at our school. Yes. Okay. But, like, the first time we used the name, The Warning, it was like a Battle of the Bands. Type of event. Okay. Yeah. I don't remember what it every, was. But every single band had a name but us, so we are just like, well, we oh, have we, to name our band. How did you come up with that? <laughs> we would daydream about having an album. Yeah. And it was called The Warning. Oh. And it was, like, the... Like just for now, name. Yeah. We're like we're gonna change it later. No, like we we didn't love it. It was not like yeah. oh my god, we're calling it warning. Yes. <laughs> it was like we don't have another option right, right. now. Interesting. So that's gonna be it. But then we went viral, and everyone was like, oh, the warning. So it was like, well, what? we're keeping with the warning. Okay. Yeah. But, but you know, we what? learned to love it. Yeah, we it's learned awesome. to love it's it. Like, yeah. We've grown with it. It's a great name. It, it yeah. is a great. When name. When you did go viral, did you feel the pressure to really like quadruple down and like now just take advantage of this momentum? Like, was there a pressure? Mm. I feel like I don't, I don't, I don't remember. remember. Like, oh, I feel like it, as a kid, I was just like, "Well, this is my life now." Yeah, but like, we were no, we were so young that we really didn't understand the concept of like, yeah, what happened going and viral. like going viral. Right. We didn't really mm-hmm. understand it. We were just like. Suddenly, we had more interviews and stuff like that. But mm-hmm. apart from that, we really didn't understand completely mm-hmm. like what was I going on. I feel like if that, if that would happen right now, I, I would feel pressure. Yeah, but yeah. I was totally okay. younger. You know, right. I right. Would feel the pressure. Little, Probably yeah. their parents so are. I was like, well, yeah, we exactly. The they weren't awesome. even. They weren't even yeah, old enough an to understand yeah. what they were doing. Already yeah. doing yeah. right. In hindsight, wow. it's like. Damn. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that was big. Yeah. But, but I, I love that you said the pivotal point was when you started doing your own music. Yes. Yes. You realized yeah, you didn't want to so... be known as just a cover band, mm-hmm. and creating your own music was really the key. Yeah. So talk to me about early days of creating music. Where did you even begin? And was there sort of like <laughs> artists you looked to, to to sort of be inspired by or to emulate? Okay. Mm. So first of all, the weird thing about this is that well, we're Mexican. We grew up speaking Spanish. That's our main we, language. We live in Mexico. But the first ever creations that we did was, was English English songs. That's mm-hmm. so cool. it. Mm-hmm. And um, I feel like that was a big thing in our starting. Uh, releasing our own original music because we had the attention of the Inter Sandman one. And now, like, since we were singing in English, people are like, oh, well, I can actually <laughs> listen to this. Um, right, right. But our first ever creations were very all over the place. Like we didn't yeah. have specific, like, influences no. that we were like, I want to sound like that. It was just like, let's write a song and let's see what comes out. And it was just... But it was like an exercise. We had a yeah. teacher. His name is Pablo Gonzalez. And he was Alice mm-hmm. Bay's teacher. Mm-hmm. But then he started teaching us like musicianship. And mm. uh, he was like, you should start writing. And we're like, sure. And, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? So he really pushed us into start like exploring what we wanted to say or how we wanted to sound. And it was it was really fun. Because like I play the drums, right? But I also play the piano. But I, I write on the piano. But I remember like the first time just figuring out like, oh my God, I can use these chords and they're going to sound like this. And it was just like a whole new world oh, yeah. was opened of possibilities that I had never thought that we could do before. Yeah, And it was just really fun. But we were still finding our footing like for the yeah. first years. Which is so funny to me now because our first ever songs are actually out we have that our first like EP there. is it's there. It's so it's out. Out. You, can, yeah. you can hear our like <laughs> tiny baby voices being like, Hi. It's, yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. I, I, I try to <laughs> ignore it. It's yeah. like it's, it's, there. Like, it's there. And it's cute. We started out with that. I'm not ashamed of it, but it's yeah, like no. <laughs> people can stream it. Like they can sit down and say, I'm going to listen to that song. And it's just like, <laughs> no. you know, it's impressive. You guys were children. We you were actually so children playing. creating yeah. your own music, writing your music, and playing your own music. Yeah. I mean, I think. Right. It is so impressive. It, really is. Is. it like that. It does feel like, <laughs> oh, okay. okay. But at the time, it was just like, it's what we knew. Like yeah. what to do, and we right. just really yeah. liked it. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. Tell me very about like, you They're said before you called the sibling magic, which I love. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, how do creatively? How do you guys work together? Does someone come in with an idea? Or do you just jam together? <laughs> no, it's weird. We Here do have this weird telepathy kind of thing mm-hmm. that works a lot, especially in live shows. We would just be like, and we're like, okay, that's incredible. We know what what needs to happen, but usually that's up until right. right now, Pow is the one who like. 
on the piano, she just goes crazy and gets a lot of different chords, concepts, lyrics, and that's where you we like. Yeah. Yeah. She, she's like, <laughs> that's where we like, like yeah, go, yes. go from. Which is it's so funny if you think about it. Every single, well, most of our songs start as a rock ballad on the piano, and then we just kind of like the warnify it in the actual <laughs> instruments. It's, yeah, and okay. it's so it's, it's like. It's weird. Like, it's a good process that we have. Yeah. And now that we're writing with other people, like, we realize how special it is. Mm -hmm. Because um, writing songs, it's like, I was going to say having babies, but that sounds weird. But it's like, <laughs> no, no, it's, no, not. It's, it's your child. It's your musical yeah. children. Yeah. It, it's, yeah. it's right there. Hmm. And then you just hand it over for it to be, like, torn apart and then put back together. And it's... It's uh, uh, it's a, yeah. It goes back it's, to the vulnerability. Yeah it's, yeah, it's a heavy process. And with my sisters, like, there's no sugarcoating it. Like, we're, we're working right. with other people. Mm. It's like, yeah. maybe we can go around and do this. And they're like, I hate it. <laughs> like, we're not going <laughs> to do that. Yeah, yeah. And, and it's just so, like, yeah. okay. That sucks. Yeah. Yeah. But <laughs> we know that it's like, it's nothing personal. Like right. we, we can work with no strings attached and just like really get things done. Mm -hmm. And we do understand each other in a really special way. Like Danny, yeah. it doesn't matter if it's in English or in Spanish, but when we're working creatively, she says things that don't make sense. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, yeah, she actually. says words and it's a sentence, <laughs> but it doesn't make sense. <laughs> it's not a I thing. I can be <laughs> very incoherent. Yeah. 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 And, like, and she just like, so it just, it just sound like, Gah. and we're like, we're like what, does what are you mean? talking about? Yeah. Yes. But after all these Leave years, it to my sisters to understand. We know what it means. Like we we understand <laughs> each other. Yeah. So now that we're working with other people, we just take a second to like um, huddle up in Spanish and be like, yeah. "All right, what, what are we doing?" And then Danny says her like incoherent things, and we make sense of it, <laughs> and then we communicate <laughs> it to process. the other writers, and then but. It's a wow. cool process because we ground each other. Like yeah. we keep like, yeah. each other humble. That's it's like, pretty. No, they are humble. You're not gonna do that. Of That's course. Not yeah. yeah. That's they a good process. Someplace. I love that. You know, last year, error of course mm. was a massive moment for you guys yeah. on so many levels. You know, as as artists, as musicians, as songwriters, as women. It's a phenomenal album. Thank so you. I just want to say congratulations. It's a, really a culmination of all of the hard work. I mean, you guys are are veteran musicians. <laughs> oh, so yeah. that. I mean, it's it feels pretty, so old. No, but it's incredible <laughs> that you are so young. Mm -hmm. Like when you finished that album, how old were all of you? I mean, well, we finished uh, Error? Uh, I, was, yeah. I, was, I was 20. I was... <laughs> Well, I turned 21 yeah. when we... In the mixing. In the mixing. So I was 18. And so, during the mixing, I was 19. <laughs> yes. I was 15. Shut up. Oh, my no, God. You're I mean, kidding. literally, I'm no. calling you veterans, and you were literally you were 15 to 20. Said, yeah, yeah. I was 15. You were 15. Jesus Christ. It's because my wow. pandemic years are so <laughs> weird. That's true. That's yeah, true. The pandemic years, it was like dog years. It's I don't like, remember yeah. being yeah. that young. I was yeah, 15. I don't, I don't either. I don't either. But I get it. Like, yeah. Okay. It's but crazy. But that album, I feel like, yeah. to this really date, has made the biggest splash for you guys. That's when you started really getting on festivals and incredible tours and an amazing yeah. opportunities to open for bands like Foo Fighters yeah. and you know, Muse, which I want to talk more about, um, and Sammy Hagar and all these things. Wow, like, Tell me what impressive. was going on for you, because you guys had been playing and honing your craft for so many years at this yeah. point, but this album was a turning point individually and also in your career. So what did, what, tell me about this whole like point in your life and how it felt. Mm. Well, okay. I think, first of all, it was a big shift in our band as a career because we had been an independent band for right. the rest i mean all of it the whole up time. until right the now whole time. so we signed with lava records and republic records in 2020 it was mid-pandemic wow. mid 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 it was mid pandemic it was yeah, it was, yeah. Weird time, but like, it yeah. was great for us and we already had this album planned and we were like okay we're now recording it with someone we had never worked with in an environment that we mm. had never been in because we are now like okay we're gonna have a producer who has a lot of experience. We, David Bendis. David, David yeah. Bendis. Shout out, David. Yes. Shout out, David. Shout out, Jason Flom. I remember when he told yes. me about you guys, and I was like, oh, hell yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, very mm. excited. Yeah. So, like, we were going into stuff that we've been doing for our whole lives, but in a very different context. capacity. Context yeah. And way. Yeah. So, we're just like, all right. Let's but, but it was like the step you. to take. Like, we were yeah. really yeah. excited about, like, oh, it's the next level. That's what yeah. we would say. Like, mm -hmm. okay, let's go. And um, it was a 
it was mid pandemic. It was weird because mm -hmm. the recording of it, but it was great. And we learned we, how to be musicians again. I don't know how to explain it. Yes. But we went to the David Bendit boot camp, which we we've did. talked with okay. other bands about it. And they're like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's, it's a thing. Like, it's a thing. Tell me more about this boot camp. I love <laughs> this. It was just like during pre pro. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like we thought we were really tight with our demos and we, we were yes. playing it for. For That's David, good. and David was like, you're so out of time. And we're, we're like, like oh, what are you talking we're about? Like, oh. He's like, you know, you're going to use my click, and you're going to learn how to play with each other because, you like, you're playing individually. You're not playing as a band. Mm -hmm. And we're like, oh, what, what do you, you mean, about, David? Right. What do you what mean? Do you mean? Yeah. But after, like, the whole process, we went back to Monterrey, and we were starting to rehearse the songs, and we were like, that process we, we was played so horribly. We played I was horribly. like, yeah. I, I felt like a bad musician. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, I don't know how to drum. Uh. Yeah. And then we, Ale and I would play together. Like we would just play together, her and I. Yeah, we just. And I would other. stare at Ale's fingers, and I would have to hit it at the same time as Ale was doing like the. Yeah, like playing. I remember we were so out of it time, was, and it was we grueling. learned how to play again together. Yeah, literally. Wow. literally. It was, but it was you know what? So crazy. Yeah. More than anything about timing or whatever, like the parts, we felt like we were playing like humans. Does that make sense? For yes. the first time. Yeah, I don't like, know how to explain you it. You got so into what you were doing, it's like I have to get it right or whatever, that you forgot to like groove, to be mm -hmm. part of it, mm -hmm. to be mm. in the music. Wow. Right. And that... It's something that not a lot of people think about that can be listened to. Yes. You know, wow. like you can yes. feel it. Yeah. You can feel There's that so in an album now. when it's recorded with like feeling. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so the instrumentation is one part of it, but the yes. heart and soul is the, the other, other. Yeah. Yeah. part. And yeah. You have to have both. both. <laughs> it's very easy to lose yeah. yourself and wanting to be perfect. Yeah. Playing everything perfectly by yourself. Yeah. Yeah, it was just yeah, an insane process. It was. But we the didn't do it the yeah. pandemic. So right. then the album comes out. It came out two years after we recorded it. Right. It was just right. there. And it yeah. was really weird because we couldn't do anything with it because mm -hmm. we had to tour with it. That was We had to promote it. But we couldn't. Everything was closed down. We canceled like two tours. Two uh, tours. Three tours. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. and it was our was first so time like... It was going to be our first time headlining the US. Like our tours yeah. in the yeah. US. That's crazy. And then it was canceled. But then 2022 came around and we started touring. It was our first time headlining in the US. It like was our first, brutal. Our first show ever uh, coming back from the pandemic was in Daytona. The, oh my god, it was Welcome to the Rock, Rock Welcome, Welcome to Rock, 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 Rock. Yeah. That wow. was like, okay, it was a great, coming back. It was a great experience. <laughs> it was a great experience. But yes. it was such a wonky show. Like, it was for, like, it was our it. thing. Yeah. Yes. Like, we were just like, what is going on? And we hadn't played in festivals years. in yeah. the US. Ever. It was Ever. like one of our first festivals wow. here. Wow. And we were all just like, we had so much fun though. Going? It was fun. But we were wonky. So yes. now that we, like we're, you felt rusty. Like yeah, you felt yeah, not yeah. Like, Do I even yeah. remember how to do we're this about to play in front of an audience again this yeah. year? And we're like, thank God, because we like we can show the people. They're like, we're cool. We swear. <laughs> we yeah. swear that we're better now. But wow. we started our headlining tour in the U.S. in 2022. Yes, and uh, it was like how many dates and how many days. Do it you know? was like we 27 there. dates and we in like, wow. like 42 days or something. Yeah. It, it was, was like a very really, it was just at one after the other, one after the other. And wow. we had to tour No, we had <laughs> never toured camp. like that yeah. before and never also like in the US. It was just it was like oh clavado, un clavado. No. How do you say I that? It was like a, like deep a dive, dive. Deep dive yeah, into, like yeah. into cold water. Like just and Ooh. it was like so many firsts for everyone, like not mm -hmm. only us, but like in our team as well. But I am really grateful that we had that because it yes. was yeah. grueling and it was brutal. Yes. And every sense of the word, like, now we can yeah. take on anything. physically. Yeah. Yeah. Like, we survived that. We did. Well, and then we started touring with Hailstorm and the Pretty Reckless. Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, talk to me about that it because was awesome. I love was both great. bands. It was awesome. awesome. So we felt really like nervous about it. We were like, we just toured by ourselves. Like, maybe this <laughs> tour is a bit easier because, <laughs> yes, like, it's it. their tour and we're just here to support. Oh, but it's a really okay. different switch opening for bands than like your headlining right, ones. Right, 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 right. you have to prove not only like to the bands that are inviting you to play. That you like, are worth it. Yeah, like, <laughs> right, thank right. you for taking a chance on us. And also you have to convince everyone in the crowd, like. To care. Look at me, listen yeah. to me. Yeah. But they're yeah. not here, there for hello. you. Yeah. Yes. And also like, we're a Mexican band. 
touring the U.S. for the first time. We're trying to make a name for ourselves. So it was also like we also have to prove mm -hmm. that we can be a part of this country's industry as well. Wow! And just like, hey, that's got to be rough. Oh yeah, we yeah, have something let's to go. say. Yes. And yeah, and most of all, we were just uh, really trying to get people to have a good time for the yeah. rest of the the and, evening. And like, Prepare the crowd for like the bands that we're about to yeah. come up, like to hype them up. To hype yes. them up. So yes. like the pretty records and Hillstrom could have the best crowd ever. Right. Right. Yeah. Yes. It was awesome. Yeah. It was also, touring with tour. those two bands, of course, they both have very strong, incredible, talented women. Talk yes. to me about doing some festivals where you're one of the only female bands. Um, right. Oh, that's that's usually and 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 I <laughs> you, sometimes you have to prove yourself more, right? Because mm -hmm. they're like, oh, it's the warning, it's an all-female band, that's cute, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, then, and then I'm sure once they see they you, they're like, their mind. oh, wow. Okay. That's yeah. usually how, yeah. thankfully, that's thankfully, usually how yeah. it goes. I mean, we put in a lot of work to like yeah. prove, to prove themselves. Yeah. Yeah. So we do have to go like above and beyond you, to yeah. be considered, at least. Mm -hmm. right. So, But it's always very, it's it's motivating in some sort of way, like to prove yourself every single time, cause it, it like there's a certain fire to it. Yeah, like, they we, do we have, have to that fire. Demonstrate that we've been working for a that's long our, time. That's yeah, our motivation when we go on stage. Just like first of all, let's have fun, cause that's what we're here for, mm -hmm. um, and show them that that's what a rock show is all about. You right. know, so yeah. like it's not who, what gender you see on stage. It's just. The music and how good it can make you feel. Yes. So we definitely go with that in our minds. Um, and yes, it, it is a very satisfied, uh, satisfying, no, satisfying, satisfying feeling to yeah. just like people see what we can do yeah, and be able. They take us into account for next stuff because like, it's been awesome yeah. to see like how our first festivals, like how we were treated at them. Mm -hmm. And it's not only like crowds, but it's also like staff and people of around. Wow. Like you have to prove like sound checks and stuff like that. You get. Pretty, treated pretty differently sometimes, and it's yeah. just jarring and it's not to bad, see. But they just don't think of they they don't think highly of you, so yeah. they they don't like put time or effort into it. But like they understand who they're dealing with. Yeah. <laughs> but it, no, but it's always just very yeah. fun to see and very gratifying to see the, like the you step off of the stage and like like the stage hands are like that was an awesome show. Yeah, and you're like that's great. Hell yeah! yeah. Okay. Oh. It was an awesome show. Yeah, good. Yeah. good. Yeah, I mean, it's important for people to realize that as soon as they see you, they they understand this. But you're not female musicians or a female band. Mm -hmm. like, right. Yes, Where? you are, but you are just great rock stars. Right. Exactly. Right. Gender has nothing to do with it. Right. You know? right. I think just right. because it's an anomaly, there's not so many mm -hmm. all female artists, all female bands. You know. Yep. And I think Very when you come rare. out with this ferocity that you do, ferocity. Do. You got I ferocity like that word. is the word I used to describe you guys. <laughs> Do you know what it was when I saw yeah. the choke video? Mm. I was literally like talking out loud. Like I was going like, yes, yes. yes. I mean, yes. it's just so, you guys are an amazing musicians, yes, right. but performers. Oh yeah. And you really do embody that, that heart and soul, that fire. See, I mean, that video in particular, I, I, I love that video. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yes. Yeah, you're fierce. You're Thank fierce. you so much. Ferocious. Yes, I like and you it. know what? Yes. I, I actually get to work on that a lot because sometimes when uh, we write the songs, they're like Pau's feelings and everything that I have to like interpret. Interpret? Yeah. Interpretar. Interpret? Oh. I don't. Just is that the word? Interpret? Yeah. Interpret or have them relate to you? Or right. Yes. Yeah. How so they apply like, to you? For I sure. I really try to make it justice because I know that it means a lot uh, to whoever like wrote the initial feeling of it. So I try to like really go all out in that sense for mm. sure yes i mean they might be your feelings or story to begin with but yeah. everyone can can relate to yeah. that right yeah you know? once I mean, we very like, universal themes yeah. yeah once we do it as a band as well it kind of just like sinks in and we're like oh, we're expressing this let's go let's uh, go let's go all right that was some amazing background information i love hearing and how how they are so passionate about their craft yeah you know, it it makes sense. I mean, it sucks that it makes sense that they would have to literally prove, prove they're worthy of being there like every minute of every well, show. Imagine. Because right? not, not every group has to do that, right? Well, because imagine they're all female band. Yeah, exactly. And most of the band that are doing rock are all male. Yeah. And then once they start playing, they're like, oh, geez. They could yeah. actually rock. Exactly, but and, and until, until they literally hear the yeah. proof, 
they don't believe it. Yeah. Right? So that's the sorry, the sad part about those stories is that they they literally can't get, themselves. they can't catch a break. Yeah. They have to literally show so. them what they're worth it's like yeah um, that's it's a it's little like, sad it's like fan made you know all female and i'm yeah. so glad that they're playing on you know on this next week actually so uh, yeah, i'm so glad the concert with the con- made, yeah i'm so glad very, they very collab cool. together because they deserve they're those two are like my favorite band rock band for you know fe- yeah. yes you know you can't say female but i mean it's just you know it's just the female empowerment with these two bands are so amazing. It is really, it is really, uh, it makes you feel good about everything. Right. Because they are fighting against some impression and winning. Right. Right. That's what's happening. And they're, they're so good at what they so do. They're so good that they deserve and they have earned the right to be where they are. Exactly. And it, it feels good to see them getting what they've earned through their hard work right. and dedication. Because And that's true for war- The Warning, it's true for Bandmade. And we, for we other, just love to see other them female bands. seizing it yeah. and taking what they need. Well, because you know? it's known as, you know, male band. Yeah, male dominated, dominated industry. St- industry. Most things are. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, so well, so that they, was pretty cool. Well, thank you again for turning into our channel. Don't forget to give you love and support to The Warning and Allison Hagendorf. Their link will be in our description below. Thank you for your love and your support to our channel. We really appreciate you. Thank you for loving our channel, liking our videos to get the algorithm going. Share with your friends and family. Thank you for subscribing to our small, mighty channel to help us grow. Thank you again and see, see you in the, the next, next video. video.